Hello, my name is Chris McDread and this is part two of the journey. In the first part of the journey, we talked about the definition of the journey and why all ways of studying locks is part of the journey. And in this part, we're going to really understand what is really about the journey. What is the journey about, rather? So, a lot of people don't understand locks. I mean, if I meet someone who's had the locks for more than two years and they don't know the difference between interlocking and palm rolling, there's something wrong with you because you're not taking the journey seriously. You're not understanding because the journey is about you be moving from being a student to being a teacher. You're the one who becomes the advisor. If you're in the journey with us, if you're part of the movement of the journey because the, the journey now stops being an individual, becomes us. When, when, when the exodus of a people move and we carry the history with us and we take it to another level, which is the journey from one part to another, where if, if you come with us for two years, if, if you're walking with us for 15 years, if, if you've been in the movement for the last 70 years, you can be able to explain these things. Do you know the difference between interlocking and palm rolling? This is what the journey is about. Can you advise someone on shampoo? Why on earth would you not advise anyone to use waxing? What's the difference between interlocking and palm rolling? Again, I repeat, what's crocheting for? Can you use crocheting to maintain locks? When should you use crochet? When should you interlock? Who should interlock? Why should you interlock? Can you crochet and interlock? Yes. Can you interlock and palm roll? Yes. Can you crochet and palm roll? Yes. When should you do what? Can you continue crocheting if you start with crocheting? Yes. Can you continue interlocking if you start with crocheting? Yes. Can you continue in, uh, palm rolling if you start with crocheting? Yes. Do you understand all these systems? What product should I use to make my hair more healthier, more hydrated? How should I wash? Should I just, how should I dry? Because a lot of people, for example, dry like this and they make their locks weaker. They make their locks weaker. Eventually, when you finish four years, you start breaking because you've been squeezing the segment and they're pulling off. You get it? So if you're really part of the journey, you're a teacher. If, if a new person who doesn't understand locks asks me questions about what's the difference, it's, I'm obliged to tell them because I'm a teacher. But if, if you've been in the industry, if you've been in the journey for two years and you don't understand what product, product and why, when should you use it? Why should you not condition and when should you condition if you have locks? Then you're not understanding the journey because the journey is about you not becoming a teacher. So if you're just receiving, and you know, you just go down and you sit down and you don't ask questions to them. your locticians when they're doing your hair. Why did you use that product? What product did you use? When should I use this product? Why should you change that product? I saw you using this last time. I saw you doing this with this time. Should I use clips? Why, should I, why are you not using clips? Why did you not hair dry me? You get it? So basically it's everything you need to know about locks. So if you're going to actually say you're on the journey, you need to understand these things. Otherwise, you're not really on a journey. Why? If you, if you were to come to Dubai and visit Dubai, what do you think if someone came to Dubai and spent a whole week in the hotel and they never left the hotel, but they're in Dubai, were they really in Dubai? Yes, they were in Dubai. The, the house is in Dubai. They landed in Dubai airport and they came to Dubai. But if you're just going to sit inside that hotel room, are you really in Dubai? Because Dubai is about coming out and seeing the construction work and the beautiful architectural work that they've done, the roads, the beautiful cars, the, you know, the splendor of the city. This is understanding Dubai, but not only that, is also understanding how far Dubai has come. As a city. This is what the journey is about. It's not just getting them but it's actually going out of your hotel room and exploring to understand so that you can actually tell people when you go back home, hey I was in Dubai and you know they do these and this is what I get and I, you know the people call the Bedouins and I went to the desert, this is the camels, you know this is what the journey is about. And there's another third part of the journey which I'm going to be talking because I want to make short videos, like I said, so that you can watch it and not get bored. So there's another third part. So if you want to understand what Chris McDread thinks about the journey, there's a third part. Of it.